Hey guys, it's Dempsey, and today we're going to do a hit leg workout. High intensity interval training is a type of exercise that alternates between intense bursts of activity and less intense activity. It's great for burning calories, building muscle, losing fat, and improving your cardiovascular health in a really short period of time. Today we're going to do five exercises, some of which are going to be more intense than others, each for a minute straight with no rest in between. And the best part is that after the workout, your body is going to burn more fat and calories than it would after a more traditional steady state workout. But that is enough of me rambling, let's go and work out. We are going to start off by alternating between five squats and five jump squats for a minute straight. We're going to start with five squats. Start with your feet slightly wider than hip distance, toes pointed forward. Sit back and down into a squat and press through your heels to stand. After this rep, we're going right into five jump squats. Squat down and jump up explosively, landing as softly as possible. And we're back into regular squats. Try to not rest, but just take deep breaths and get your heart rate back down. And I want you to make sure that your thighs are parallel with the ground at the bottom of your squat. One more rep and we are back into jump squats. I want you to keep breathing and keep that core engaged. Now back to squats. You are almost done with these. I want you to focus on squeezing your glutes as you stand. Let's finish this up with our last round of jump squats. And we're gonna bust out one regular squat because why not? Next up, we are going to do one minute of plie squats. Start standing with your feet wider than shoulder width, toes pointed out. You can either place your hands on your hips or you can awkwardly hold them in a fist like I'm doing. Sit down into a plie squat and press through your heels to stand. Draw your belly button into your spine to engage your core and protect your lower back and be sure to keep your chest up. Your goal should be to get your thighs parallel with the ground, but getting that range of motion in your groin can be a little bit difficult and take some time, so I want you to lower down until you feel a slight stretch and then stand back up. And for the last 30 seconds, we are just going to pulse. You are really going to feel this, but it's only for 30 seconds, so stick with me. And if this is too easy, you are always welcome to add some resistance in the form of some dumbbells, a medicine ball, kettlebells, whatever you have handy that is easy to hold. You're done in five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Now we're going to get that heart rate back up again by alternating 20 high knees with 10 squat pulses. Start with your feet hip distance apart, chest up and core engaged, and you're just going to start running in place. I really want you to focus on getting your knee in line with your hip and landing as lightly as possible. And we're going right into 10 squat pulses. Keep your weight in your heels and your core engaged. And now we're back into high knees. Remember to keep breathing and pumping those arms. And back to 10 squat pulses. And you're gonna go right into another round of high knees. And drop back into squat pulses. I want you to focus on keeping your chest up and your core engaged. Let's jump into our second to last round of high knees. And back into squat pulses. I know this is tough, guys. I want you to stick with me. And back to high knees for your last three, two, one, and rest.
Next up, we are going to do a minute of curtsy lunges. Start with your feet hip distance apart, lunge back diagonally with your right foot, crossing it behind your left, return to stand and repeat on the other side. I really want you to focus on your breath and getting your heart rate down. Be sure to keep your chest up and core engaged per usual. And of course, if you want to step it up a level, you can always grab some weights. And if you don't, just stick with me and the bodyweight crew because by this point in the workout, my legs were feeling it and I did not want any more resistance. Just 10 more seconds of these. And rest. And we are going to finish this workout off with a minute of double burpees. So basically, this is just going to be a burpee, but instead of jumping your feet to your hands once, you're going to do it twice. I know these are difficult and tedious and annoying, but they are a great full body exercise, and they're also elevating your heart rate, so you are going to be burning calories. Yeah, they drunk and love coming from a butt. Never rapping, taking that back to the chorus. I'm gonna kick it in. Man. Remember to keep your core engaged and keep breathing. If this starts to get a little bit too difficult for you, you can eliminate one of the jumps and just do a normal burpee. But I really want you to try to do as many of the double burpees as you can before you modify. Just 15 seconds to go and you are done with the entire workout. You're done in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Rest. Thank you so much for watching and working out with me today. This was a really tough workout, so you should feel great about yourself for pushing through. If you aren't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you next week with a new video.